welcome back everyone to another episode of Morocco. Whoa. So guys, we are back here in another episode where, as you guys know, we had a really good uh, last playing session where we single-handedly took Morocco from being like this to being like this and soon to be like this. I mean, we basically are the northern African coastline. I mean, seriously, we got this. We got this. Um, with that, though, we also can build some other stuff, like some local trade power stuff. Um, I might do that, but it doesn't... To me right now, it does, I can't really... We, we already know we can't fight, like, these other great powers. Like, I, why, why is Tripoli still in here? Oh, Tripoli. Oh, this is Tripoli. Whoops. <laughs> oh, for a moment there, I thought that was Tunis this entire time. I've been reading it like Tunis. I was like, why is Tunis still in this game? That's like a major glitch. I thought they would have fixed it by now. But no, that's that's Tripoli, my little vassal, guys. So, okay, okay, okay. That, that, makes, more, that makes more sense. So, anyways, guys, what I was going to say was that we really don't have that much power most of these nodes I mean this one we're never gonna get anything from even though we actually do make a lot of money from it we're never gonna get much from it because it's Castile and Portugal are just gonna dominate over here we basically own this node this node is ours I mean we make very little from it but it's ours um yeah so I'm not sure if we should actually build any of these buildings um what could be helpful though is actually building some docks you know, to increase our local trade power and to increase building speed. But that's about it. I think that's about the usefulness I have right now in terms of money. And we're going to reduce inflation again. Okay. And continuing on. So yeah, now we're just, just going to casually kind of wait it out a little bit. Um, decrease money woes a little bit. And, you know, start making lots of money because um, we have problems like that start to happen. And I also have a mission right now to uh, build a proper fleet, which I could possibly do. I'm um, just going to have to start building some uh, early Karax and stuff. I think I'm going to build bogs, actually. Make an entire race of bogs. Okay, there we go. And we have a rebellion right there. What I'm hoping is going to happen is that my vassal attaches to me. So I'm going to go over here. See if I can get my vassal to attach. No, I couldn't. Or no, I could not. Um, yeah, that's pretty bad because we have like no manpower to protect ourselves. So this is going to... No, we really should not do that. What we should be doing, and I'm really being lazy about this, is we should be like building up mercs to like protect us. I know I'm being really lazy in this, but it's, it's honestly something we're going to have to do. I mean, uh, we... Right now, in this current state that Morocco is in, we're still in the very early years of our game, and we need to build up quickly, and I just lost piety, or gained piety and lost some admin power, which is something I don't want to do, because I really do want to get to Admin Tech 4, but something keeps getting in the way before I can get to Admin Tech 4, which is kind of annoying me. Alright, you seven men, go attack. With the great leader you have, go attack. Charge! And you guys lost. Wow. They didn't just lose badly, they lost terribly. Okay. And what is this rebellion over, just so I know? Okay. Um, this rebellion is over... Um, Berber Patriots. What do you guys want? A local autonomy. Which basically means that if I give them local autonomy, that means that these, that, that is not going to give me any kind of gold. It might not be bad. I mean, I'm not, I don't think I'm using that province at all, but wow, this is, this is almost sad. Just crunch all the units that you can, because that's just sad. I mean, I'm losing, <laughs> gosh dang, I lost a lot of troops during, during that war. One thing about the uh, Algiers-Moroccan war that we can all say, people, is that I lost a lot. Um, the bad thing is, is also that my vassals aren't helping me either, so I can't, you know, go fix the problem. Um, but, yeah, we're just, we're just gonna have to casually let these guys siege down and then, you know, accept the demands of local autonomy. Because I don't even think this province is giving me much anyways, so, 
Yeah, they could have local autonomy. I, I don't mind. I mean, who am I to judge if they want to have a better ruler and stuff? Um, just let me build what I need to build for my quest to become an epic sea power. Okay? Okay. Do, do, do. So let's see. We have much gold pertaining to us, and we just got some diplomatic relationships back from Austria. Austria should now be pretty good friends with us. I mean, we shouldn't be like BFFs, but we should be pretty good friends. Yeah. And now we can get some more tech. We're getting some military tech. That's awesome. Um, not as awesome as I would like, but it's good enough. And more rebels have pitted itself against each other. Whoa, the heck? Okay, this is, this is kind of getting out of hand, so, um, this state right here, okay, this state's fine, let's see, these guys right here are fine, um, yeah, let's see, let's just build up a massive war chest, and then we're just gonna build lots and lots of cavalry. Okay, I'm not I'm not gonna quite give up yet because I really do think we could beat these guys. We're just gonna need to build up a massive war chest to get these like rebellions. And there's my vassal! There you guys go. After like I need you guys a little bit earlier, you finally kicking yourself in the gear. Good job. Good job, vassals. Good job. Don't worry, that army will become mine and then you guys will be like naturally integrated. Okay. So let's see, I think I got enough of a war chest, so. Let's start actually building some, you know, uh, you know, people, not people, uh, what was it? Yeah, units. There we go. I was looking for that word. Okay, so units, let's build some more mercs. Okay, I think charge cavalry is much better. Personally, let's build one charge cavalry, and then get all you guys together. Okay, build six. You guys will go patrol the trade of here. Start patrolling, start doing stuff. You guys patrol the trade of Tunis. Should have one more, shouldn't I? There we go. One last thing, and you guys would patrol the trade to build too. There we go. It should increase our money woes by a little bit. Yep. And now we got one more charge cavalry. Should help a lot with the uh, shock phase, because right now that's all this is right now. It's just shock phase, and did one of our rulers just die? No, he did not. Dang it. So, I'm so gonna be happy when our new ruler comes in. You know, okay. And let's just see. Can I just handle these guys and just give them what they want? Accept demands. Well, let me try something first. Let me try beating these guys up, and if that does not work, then I'll give them local autonomy. Yep, give them local autonomy. There is no way I can give him this. Except demands. Yeah. Okay, there we go. Whoa, there's a lot of verbal weapons. Okay. So yeah, we accepted the demands because we honestly can't fight any of them at this point in time. Um, that's kind of sad because that means we gain absolutely nothing from them. But our economy is strong enough right now so it can manage. It's just our military at this point in time cannot. And I'm going to harshly handle this. Yeah. Anytime we have more than 10... I'm gonna have to like put my boot down and say no. Okay, yeah, there we go. Yeah, yeah. Until until we can get this all underneath our control, we're not going to be light with these guys. And I just realized we have iron now, guys. Woohoo! We're finally up to the Iron Age. Yeah. And right now we have lots of soldiers that we really need to like reinforce, but uh, we have so little men right now. It's not even like funny. Oh gosh, that war, that war right there was one to be remembered, guys. It took a lot out of me, but eventually, once I recover, I think I'll be fine. Yeah, there we go, another core province. Let's see, is there anywhere we can core? There we go, another core right there. Let's see, why couldn't I core these things? Oh, these cost. Oh, these cost a lot. Yes, dang, I'm gonna be coring for long years. Okay, let's see, let's get that one little troop out of here. Just move our military this way. Alright, let's reinforce all of our militaristic people. And let's start building back up a manpower. Okay. Speaking of which, we could also start building up um, armories. Which I think I'm going to start doing because I think armories in the long run will help us out. 
because, well, first off, armies give us more manpower, and it, that's something we really desperately need is Morocco, and it's going to give us just better stuff overall. So, yeah, Morocco. <laughs> okay, got another army. Let's build it right here. Not make capital. Give us some more manpower boost. Okay. And now we're starting to get more people. Let's start rebuilding up our army. So let's rest. Well, I have to wait for my military. I have to wait for my money to get back in. Oh, but yeah, we're doing pretty good right now. Like seriously, we're doing pretty good right now. As being as being Morocco, this is like like choice cut right now. We're doing yeah. <laughs> I mean, I could just, I honestly could just sit back and relax a little bit. I mean, I've honestly saved myself from most Castilian invasions because I can handle most of them now, now that I have both sides. And, you know, I have a limit of 19 soldiers now, which is pretty nice, but pretty sweet. Won't be able to go to the limit for a little bit, but that's, you know, irrelevant at this point because I kind of like just thinking that I could do some stuff. Okay, let's build some more of these. Let's try to get to that limit. So we can just keep, you know, getting more money in these trade nodes and trying to tipple trade and stuff like that. I mean, how much are we making from these trade nodes? Let's see, this one we're making 7.5 a turn. Um, lose piety or gain piety? Uh, we could still gain piety. I think the gain piety is honestly more important than the lose piety. It seems like to me, overall, lose piety kills you in the long run. Like you lose piety, you lose a lot. So, yeah. I really think that you should just stick with the uh, uh, piety gain and I'm gonna go to Tunis. Cause I'm really, I'm really dominating the trade node in, tum in Tunis. I bet you anything, that trade node is mine. Am I correct? Let's see. Yep, I own like 49% of the trade here. Woohoo! Go me! Oh gosh. So, that trade note is mine, but sadly a lot of it's going away from me, which is not necessarily sweet. And let's start building up some of our soldiers again. So let's start like, you know, the cavalry unit. Let's see, cavalry unit, cavalry unit, yeah. I'll we'll make sure that we keep a constant army of cavalry units, because cavalry in our, in our kind of Muslim tech group is the best. It's actually, I think, slightly better, especially in the beginning, than the uh, cannons that the Europeans will soon get. So, we're going to try to keep a very good, uh, you know, cavalry-esque army. Because that's really where it's at. It's really, really where it's at. Alright, and I'm going to get some more royal relations. Let's see, I've already royal married you guys, and you guys are already my friends. You guys, are we already royal marriage with the Moroccanians? I can't remember for the life of me. Uh, let's see, dynastic. Yeah, we already royal marriage with these guys. Royal marriage with the Ottomans, of course! Yeah, we could totally become royal marriage buddies with the Ottomans. Okay, and let me see, can they become alliance members now? Ah, oh, gosh dang it. Not yet, but at least, at the very least, we have a very small percentage of a chance to take over the Ottomans. And you know what? That's that's the real reason why we play this game, people. It's for that slight, slight chance that we might take over the Ottomans. Okay, and diplomats have arrived. Okay. Um, let's see. Has Napoli fleet freed itself? No, they're still a part of Aragon. So let's see, is anyone let's let's re increase relationships with France. With France. Uh no, enable peace. Let's just sing. let's just like become friends again. So I just, it's much easier to be, be having much, a lot of people liking you than hating you. As I learned through my Swedish campaign, having lots of people hate you in that game is terrible. In EU4, it's terrible when lots and lots of nations hate you. And it seems like I'm gaining lots of manpower quickly again. So I'm going to like, let's build like two of these guys, two more. After this, I think I'm going to build like three, I think I need like three, um... Uh, what was it called? Footmen. Footmen. Or oh, infantry. There we go. Gosh dang, my brain is just... Guys, I'm really tired right now. <laughs> my brain is just going everywhere. Like, I'm thinking of things. And I know what they are in my head, but yeah, I can't say them. It's just like, ugh. So 
so let's see, let's combine all these guys, yeah. This is a pretty good army right now. Let's see, we can build like a couple of... Well, an army. Hmm. Won't be the best thing in the world, won't be the worst. Can't really build a t temple yet, which temples would really help us out. So, yeah, let's just continue building... Let's build like one Muslim soldier and let's build another like Muslim cavalry unit. There we go. And continue. And see that's going up. So the soldier this way. Do, 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 do. Ah, look at that. Rockerian army. Let me see. How's our money was doing? We're still doing pretty good. Still making 2.89, even though we've you know had a local autonomy thing happen to us. Um I'm wondering if this local autonomy thing is permanent. Or is there eventually a point where I can actually go in and... Oh, you see, like, some of these are actually providing some base tax. I actually don't think Belgium... Yeah, Belgium wasn't actually a part of it, so... I think it was just these two provinces right here. Were the ones that are part of it. Was this one a part of it? Yes, this one's not a part of the uh, local autonomy thing going on. Good, so I just lost I just lost some tax in here, which isn't too, too bad. I mean, I can regain it pretty simply. Just have to give it a little bit. Okay, we have more men coming. Send them over there. Ah, another rebellion, but this time, <laughs> I actually have an army, so they're not going to succeed. <laughs> With tons of shock value, and I just called Lament, which means it's very good. Uh, Tajian Nationalist, that's not very good. Okay, go my men, go kill them. There we go. Wow. And apparently I have some kind of like uh Merc in there, which I don't know how got in there, but de attach him, chase after this army. Yeah, this this is a little bit of an imbalanced army, I already know that, but it'll instantly destroy it. And right here we coop one Muslim archer. And there we go. Ah such so blissful winning right now like seriously we are just destroying okay right there and there All right now we just need to wait for our manpower to recover but yeah there's our army with our great leaders leading everything and France is now very happy with us that's good um anyone else we can increase relationships with let's see let's see how does everyone like us at this point let's see opinions opinion map mode we're pretty liked by a lot of people. Like, uh, mostly the only person that hates us right now is Portugal. But, and Algiers. Wait, oh my goodness, Algiers hates us by a lot. Which, you know, doesn't really, but, well, they're in a coalition against me. I should, I should probably know that, but, uh, which doesn't really bug me very much. In fact, the Mamelukes really love me. The Ottomans, they're, they're getting there. I mean, if I've increased my relationship with them in a little bit, I bet you anything they would be like, heck yeah, we love these guys. So yeah, we're doing we're doing pretty well about being the peaceful Moroccoans. Or quote unquote peaceful Moroccoans. I, I bet you guys all know my true intentions are not to be peaceful, but the rest of the world doesn't know that. <laughs> and all hail the new Sultan! Yes! So this guy finally came up into power and it seems like oh, it seems like uh Castile and um, England are duking it out. Kind of cool. It's kind of cool. So let's see. How's our peace treaties going with ourselves? So I still got a core on Telemkin. Which is kind of weird. And I apparently forgot to take a new mission. Integrate Tunis. Let's see. How close are we to that? Um, repair relationships with Calcutta. Mm, no. Not going to repair relationship with Algiers. But we still got a core on to here. And that won't go away until like 1482. Which is actually a couple years. And before that we'll probably integrate uh, Tripoli. Which will then give us like six more manpower, just free, which will be nice. And yeah, and then we'll just go to war with Algiers again and, you know, take more stuff. Corsica is apparently formed too. That's pretty cool. And I have 132, which means I can finally pour the last little province. Oh, wait, I can't. 180. It costs 180. So I need 180, like, admin power, and then I can finally pour this. That's gonna be nice. Cause that's the last little place I need to get, and then I have cores on everything. Which is gonna help me in the long run. I'm seriously, 
uh, I'm seriously, can somebody in the comment section please tell me if this whole autonomy thing is permanent or do I have to like do a special event to get it back or whatever. But I want to thank you guys for watching. This was a good episode. We are becoming the strong and mighty Moroccoans. And I want to see you guys next time.